force and then corresponding reaction force so location 1 which was at uh, x equal to 40 force was 4000 uh, so 2000 kilo 2000 newtons reaction force equals this times so i'm sorry we needed l so let's sorry okay so length 200 location of interest This is X actually. So let us say I am interested in the location 50. So location of force 40 mm force in Newtons is 2000 reaction force equals this times L minus that divided by that. This one will be equal to this minus that. And then we finally come to moment. equals now oh, if this less than 40 if this is less than this we are going to do something very simple 2000 times sorry not 2000 this times 50 else it is this times 200 minus 50. That's right. So now we know the moment. This is Newton millimeters. Now let's add another force, maybe at 70, and this time it is 5000, and then this is the same. So I got to be careful because I don't want to change some of these things. G132. So 129, so I'm going to put dollar dollar here so that that's frozen, know what I mean right? And this one again I want to have G130 dollar 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 there you go so total you can add these two things. So suppose I want it at 75 mm. You can immediately compute. Everything will get computed, updated. That's equal to sum of these two things. Twenty-six thousand, sorry, two hundred sixty-eight thousand seven hundred fifty newton millimeters. See what I mean? There's nothing to it. You can write a spreadsheet. 
you can compute you can substitute different values here and compute everything you want so I wanted to realize doing calculating bending moments for simply supported beams with concentrated loads is no big deal it's easy so let us go through and make sure we get the whole idea all the way from the front the reason why I'm bugging you about this is this is really important and you gotta see it thousands of times okay so just get used to this there is nothing to it so you got a complicated shaft all kinds of dimensions all kinds of stuff first thing is you simplify this thing simplify the dimensions get rid of all the all the grooves and other things they are meaningless replace uh, you know we have a simple gear gear system so I drawn the forces on it and then once the forces are known I draw the free body diagram notice I have drawn a three dimensional free body diagram in your head you are always thinking the whole world is two dimensional okay look at you are you two dimensional I mean I could be because I am a fairly slender guy but look at you most of you are nice you know solid three dimensional people there is no two dimensional thing in the world everything is 3D okay the way we convert it into two dimensions is by projection so project and conquer is our idea so we do a xy plane when I do the xy plane I ignore the z forces completely I just look at the xy forces when I do the xz plane I ignore the y forces completely I just look at the x, uh, x and z forces that's it and then I look at the end view when I look at the end view I am only interested in torque twisting I don't care about bending when I do that torque is the easiest so I'm not going to bother bother about it I'm not going to run anything about it I just want to show you bending moment so you can see land rate lands up with a situation in which all the forces happen to be along nice setup you know uh, nothing uh, complicated it's just a simply supported beam with a bunch of forces on it so we go up here and we do a simply supported beam with one force and that's easy R1 is FB over A plus B, R2 is FA over A plus B and then moment depends upon where you are it is R1 times X or R2 times L minus X if I am here it's R1 times X if I am here it's R, uh, R2 times L minus X ok if I am here R1 times X R2 times L minus X R1 times X R2 times L minus X once you get that if you want to do multiple forces nothing to it break it into two separate single force setup do them separately calculate the reaction forces for it calculate the moment for it do all of them and then add if you want to find the net reaction force add the reaction forces R11 plus R12 R21 plus R22 and then you are done ok and we did an example problem where we computed that we even wrote a spreadsheet program ok that we are done 